Howdy, folks. Shabby's back. And he's back to harvest up a moose and forlorn muskeg. I hope it doesn't kill us. Let's do it. And by hope, hopefully it won't kill us. Wait a minute. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> Clicked on it a couple. I had to clip on, click on it a couple times. All right, very windy. Sunset. All right. All right. I gotta be careful about how I deal with this moose because it could end up being, uh, our, you know, could end up killing us. Don't want that to happen. Um, obviously. So I think really the main concern is getting f enough fuel to do this. Um, we have seven coal. I want to hang on to that coal as much as I can. But obviously we have to cook it with something. There's no log in here. Um, there's a couple of fur logs outside there. But we can't, if we get those logs, we can't get cold at all because, you know, we'll start taking damage. This is a no health recovery setting that we're on. So I um, have to just wait until the right moment. There's also the Bleak Inlet Cave that might have, I don't know how much coal that cave has. I don't think it has a lot. It might have a log in it though, and that might be a better option for us. But we'll have to wait until tomorrow. I'm gonna see if I can get out to the to the moose and back without uh, getting too cold. We'll see. I'll go like halfway, and if if we start taking, if we get like halfway, oh my god, look at these shoes. Oh, gotta repair this mainly though. If we lose our shoes though. <laughs> Lots of moving parts here. I'm just gonna dump a bunch of gear here. Let's just dump it all. The wind stops. Okay, that's good. Wind is stopping. I might need that gun to protect myself. All right, let's see if we can get a couple of bags. Up to the cave. Um, let's see, is there any more uh, things? I guess probably just dump everything would be the smart move. I mean, we just, yeah, just dump everything. I'm not going to use a torch. Although, I'll keep one on me for safety. Alright, let's go for it. Let's see what we can grab out here. Oh, or an Aurora. Okay. Let's see, if we drag a wolf back to our cave with us, that's trouble, isn't it? We don't have an Aurora Wolf yet. We're just getting the effects of the Aurora. Alright. Three smell bars. Just gotta be careful here. I'm trying to see... I just don't want to draw, again, I don't want to draw the wolf into the cave with us. That would be very bad. Or a wolf. I'm saying the wolf. <laughs> I guess it's a wolf. Alright, I'm just going to try to screw with the decoy mechanic and see if that does anything at all. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Um, just thinking if I should try to get some more meat or not. 
Well, let's just let's harvest one up and then we'll warm up and then um, actually we can drop it. Again, I'm worried about stink here, so we'll harvest like this. We gotta do five. We gotta do this. We gotta do it this way. It's gonna be tedious, but oh, we dropped our knife. Oh well. Uh, let's get all the coal. All right, now where the hell's that knife? in here somewhere. Did I drop it first or something? I see it. I see it. There we go. Okay. Well, at least we'll have a nice color, a nice view while we do this. Oh, wrong. We're gonna have to sleep too, looks like. Oh, there's just so many things. <laughs> there's so many things to think about. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna try to hit cooking four. That's my ultimate goal with um, with this moose harvest. So we wanna cut these into half kilo pieces. I'm just going to cut this one up and then I'm just going to sleep. I'm almost a hundred percent sure you don't stink while you harvest. So you don't have to worry about drawing any I'm so tired. attention. I just lay down right here. Look at this. Uh, we'll get there eventually. Okay. All right. Let's sleep for an hour. Now we're getting into a little, little bit of a pickle. Now. <laughs> I just don't have enough fuel to do this, unfortunately. Ugh. Well, let's just sleep some more. I think it's probably the best thing to do right now. And then I'll need to acquire some fuel um, at some point pretty soon, depending on how things go with this temperature. Might have to run over to Bleak Inlet Cave, we'll see. Now we're still cold in here. Might want to repair this Mackinac. I bet we would stay warm if we, if we had a good Mackinac. Negative four, hmm. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna get cold in here. Um, I need to find a place to rest. Yeah, I know. Now, see if we go, if we go to the um, Bleak Inlet Cave. Let's see, point seven nine. Okay, let's grab this one. Okay. Let's pick this up. Let's shoot. 
I don't want to use a match, but I might have to. We'll see. I, mean, I could just start cooking right now. And just stay in the cave. Okay, I think we're gonna have to, because I'm gonna get too cold. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get cold if I go over to the if I go over to the bleak inlet cave, so let's just I guess we just have to do this. Cold is making my head feel thick. Must be done. Must be done. That's close. I, st I was standing in the cold part of the cave trying to light that. It... Alright, here we go. I hope, this, see, I hope this doesn't end up killing us. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried that we're just gonna we're just gonna run out of fuel and then we're gonna be screwed. cranking on this. Oh, it's 97% frozen. Maybe we should get a get the hacksaw. Here we go. All right. Now when this gets to be 50% frozen, then you switch over to the knife and it's quicker than the hacksaw. Maybe I should have done this off stream. I don't know. It's not very exciting. Yeah, if there's no if there's no coal in the bleak inlet cave, then we're gonna be we're gonna be in trouble, I think. Okay, twenty eight minutes. Let's go ahead and oh man, now I'm, now I don't have anything to do. How, much, how long does it take to repair the Mackinac? Let's see. An hour. Okay. Surely there's something I can do in the I meantime. Do anything for a drink right now. Here we go. We gotta make some water. Do I have my, I must have some skillet? Do I have my skillet? Man, that, that leaving that pot was a mistake. That was a mistake. Alright, I'm gonna sleep for an hour.
put it outside so you'll get the benefit of get the benefit of uh, an outdoor fire It'll last longer cooking probably need more water actually let's do another thing of water Twenty three. Oh, that's a small piece here we go all right another hour of sleep kill myself doing this. I'm so worried that I'm screwing this up. Alright, I think another hour's sleep would be helpful. Hey, there's cooking three, baby. We're just trying to get cooking four. That's our that's our goal here. Thirty-seven minutes. All right, yeah, we're cook we're cooking faster now because we uh, because we got that next tier of cooking. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep for another hour. Like I survived another night. All right, I love positive will. These are the that's the best will. All right, I think we can get two more steaks cooked on this fire. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up a couple of teas. Let's see, do we need any of this? stuff don't think so we got some okay we got a little bit of water that's good okay all right now I'm gonna get this bedroll and I'm gonna go to let's just get full here go to bleak inlet cave try to get some fuel that's our goal so I'm gonna let this sort of just cook out, cook off here. All right, we're all good to go. I don't think it didn't, didn't look like a didn't look like a torch is gonna work out here. <laughs> so I ain't gonna bother. Still no wolves around, which is really strange. But whatever, I'm not gonna worry about it. See, there's two fur limbs out here, two two more cedar out here, but it's just brutally cold. Maybe this afternoon, we'll if the temperatures play in our favor, we will we will get those. I'll try to get up here without drinking a tea. Uh oh. Alright. Uh, okay. Let's see. Can we get around this guy? T. Let's 
He's not running yet. Probably should just light a torch, but <sighs> okay. And we just stayed out of its charging range. I don't know why that wolf didn't smell us last night, but. That t-shirt came in handy, didn't it? My feet. <laughs> All right, there are some pieces of coal you can pick up, but um... oh, look at that! All right, okay. Now, hopefully, there's a log in this cave. I really hope there is. That would be super helpful. Did bring oh, hopefully but hang on. Did I bring my okay. We're, oh, Larry's in here. I might have to kill Larry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Larry might have to die. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. Okay, here's a cedar limb right here. Okay. Be getting that. It's a branch. I'm just gonna go to the back of the cave and just see what we can get. We just need to get, we need to clear this whole thing out. I, hope, I wonder if I'll be ostracized from the community for killing Larry. I, I hope not. And it's a survival. It's me or Larry. I mean, come on. Okay, no flare over here. All right. Man, I'm so happy to see that there's a little bit. Well. More than a little bit of fuel in here. That's excellent. Okay, I think this loops around. Yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll end up coming out of that little hole there. Every single piece of coal I see, I'm like, oh, God. This stuff will come in handy. Yeah. Ooh, beef jerky. Oh boy. Oh my God. There. This is kind of a weird. It's kind of hard to navigate this, or hard to get a mental map of this cave. I guess. Because there's a couple of cut throughs and kind of loops around. Okay, don't want to miss, miss a single piece of coal. Alright. Oh, that was the cut through. Okay. That's how you loop. That's the loop part. Okay. That room with the body. We're not going to be going to Bleak Inlet. Sorry. <laughs> no thank you. Okay. 
Alright. More coal. Excellent. Alright. Okay, probably get some more sleep. I have to kill Larry. <laughs> Poor Larry. these up. Alright, we just had one cedar. Oh wait, is there another one? Oh, there's a fur limb right here. Sweet. Let's get this. This is a good one. Oh, it's a four banger. We got a four banger, folks. Awesome. Okay, lost a little bit more condition. Just nickel and diamond our way to death. Something's gotta go. All right, hang on now. Hang on. All right, let's get some sleep. I'll sleep for a couple hours. Cedar limb. Sounds like there's a blizzard out there. All right. Anything else hiding up there somewhere? If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. All right. Well, come on. We're struggling. We're just trying to, we're just trying to make it through this world, buddy. We'll do it. Just don't want to miss anything. Let's turn this on. I wonder if Larry hid. He must have heard me talking about killing him and eating him. Oh, there's Larry. Oh, Larry. Oh, Larry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, buddy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit him. This is just brutal. Oh, I missed him. I wonder <laughs> if I can drop any of this gear. Uh, good for him. You know, good for him. That's what I say. Larry wins this round. All right, I gotta sleep some more because we're tired. So tired. Sleep for a couple more hours. Let's see what's going on outside. Oh, this is going on. Okay. No, thank you. Let me see if I can get some more coal. I doubt it, but you never know. Got a raid. Canal, canal, canal. Hey, welcome, 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 raiders. You might notice I don't have any. I have no bells or whistles. I have I have neither bell nor whistle on my stream. So, um, just it's more just hanging out, watching me play uh, some some death defying Nagoa right now. Uh, we're still kind of in that struggling to survive phase right now, but we did just kill a moose on last uh, 
Last time I'm, I'm contemplating killing Larry. I know that's gonna ostracize me from the um, from the community. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't think I have a rock. Yeah, no rock. Maybe should I shoot it with the rifle? <laughs> I'm trying to survive, man. I need a rabbit. I need a rabbit pelt. No, I might just let him go. I don't really need him. I just killed a moose. I have a ton of meat. And I came to the Bleak Inlet Cave to get some fuel. And we're kind of... We cleared out the... We got all the fuel out of this cave. And now I need to go back to the other cave. Where we have uh, some moose waiting for us. I'm trying to hit cooking four. I'm trying to hit cooking four so I can get... Um, we get we need to get through this and then we can start making some healing recipes that will get our condition back up because right now the only way to increase your condition is with stems but once we hit cooking four then we can make lily's pancakes or something else i don't know i'm probably going to go for lily's pancakes so that's the, the easiest thing to get right now so after we deal with this moose we'll be heading over to milton but we're just gonna ride out the storm for right now. Sleep for another hour. Okay, sounds like it stopped, but it's hard to tell nowadays. Hard to tell. So yeah, we're trying to, um, we're doing, as the title says, we're doing, we're on Nagoa settings with, uh, with guns turned on. So, and there is a wolf hanging out here, so I gotta kinda concentrate here for just a sec. Alright, I don't know. Let's get these mushrooms. Okay, he's over there on that side. That's good. I don't see. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, this is perfect. This is going to work out. All right. I didn't kill Larry, so everyone can just relax. Everyone just relax. <laughs> I did feel bad about that. Felt bad. I need a couple more rabbit hides to make the to make the gloves. Any sticks? Where's my sticks? Here we go. All right, there's our moose. There's our moose out there that we need to pull into this cave. just try to kill this wolf. I gotta light a fire anyways. Actually, I don't want to light the fire yet. I don't want to light it yet. Damn. I don't know. I'm not sure if I should light the fire or just try to take this guy out. Can I get up on a rock somewhere? I don't think it's one of those caves that you can, or maybe can. Okay, look at this. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. All right. Whew. All right. Okay. Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> I wasn't sure. How many rifle shots? I um, I shot it. I shot at it four times and I hit it twice. Um, and it was at a pretty big distance. I kind of I had a really good shot at it um, when I first approached it, but um, I dropped my torch. <laughs> yeah, it's lucky. I guess I would say it's l more luck. Um, I was surprised. It was only two shots, because usually it takes a lot more than that. 
Um, and the Vaughn's rifle, I don't know the I don't know the rifle variants super well. Let's just see what these the Vaughn's because I don't think it's the most powerful rifle. Um, fragile and deadly. Hmm, deadly. So maybe it is more, maybe it does more damage than the other rifles. It's just more, um, it's just more maintenance involved. Don't tell ones, uh, that, uh, what, the two shot, two shots are lucky? I don't know. I heard Wands is a dad. I just I just learned that yesterday, which is really awesome. That's that's great to hear. Growing our uh, long dark community, one ki one baby at a time. All right, I'm gonna warm up. Let's just sleep for an hour and warm up, and then I'm gonna go out and get some more of that that meat. Vons, Wands. Oh oh. <laughs> Wands is fragile. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Let me drop some weight real quick, and we'll get the sun setting. Get some more meat. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. And then we'll start harvesting as long as we can stay warm. And then we'll start cooking. Let me drop this in a different pile here. I'll just keep a torch just in case. Just in case. Alright, we got some fuel here. I'm just making a mess. Alright, 20. Oh man, we got some decent amount of fuel now. This is great. I might not actually die, so that's. I'm happy. I'm happy about that. Yeah, Barb's rifle is heavy, though. Barb's rifle is very heavy. I don't know what the advantage of Barb's rifle is, actually. Can't figure that out. I haven't had a lot of... I've only shot the Barb's rifle probably one time, and it just felt real clunky. For some reason. I don't like the sights on it. And then, um, Barb's, is, does Barb rhyme, rhyme with something? Too much stuff to carry. Alright, can we still run? We can still run, okay. I mean, there were a ton of wolves over here the other day, and now there's, there was just that one. That's it, so I guess I should count my blessings here. And the other variant is what? I can't remember. It's... Oh, it's the Curator's Rifle, which is the coolest looking one. That's the coolest looking one, but... Um, it also is pretty... I, th I don't know. Again, I don't remember the stats. I don't know. I like the Vons Rifle just because it's the lightest. That's the main, that's the main reason. Well, let's just harvest while we warm up, and then I'll go get another batch. There's our knife. Uh-oh. Where, where the hell did I put my knife? Do I still have it? Oh, shit. Where's my knife? It's probably just piled somewhere. Oh, here it is. It was just blending in with the hacksaw. Okay. Oh, oh, speaking of hacksaw, we need the hacksaw, because this is a frozen bag of meat, so it's going to go quicker with the hacksaw. Here we go. Now we figured it out. Again, I probably should have done this, this session off stream, because it's going to be just sitting in a cave doing this and then cooking and that's gonna be it <laughs> that's it we did get a wolf so I guess that's something exciting let's 
So yeah, Zach just had a just had a kid and wands, so yeah. It's pretty cool. You just gotta love this community, just uh you know. Just such a good com um what am I trying to say? Just a good like welcoming uh, kind of almost like a family feeling to this community. It's something I really love about it. It's, it's the reason why I stream, really, is just because it's just like, I just want to feel part part of it, you know? I'm not really interested in, like, Something's getting a ton of followers tired. and all that stuff, or, I don't know. I just, I just do this just to kind of feel connected to the community, I guess. Better run. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Come on, Shabby, go. Oh, cool. I'm like, yeah, that's that's awesome. I love that. You do you do it as well. I, I like that. There's just not a lot of games, game gaming communities like like this one. I feel like. did it. Now we gotta cook all this up. Yeah, it's good replayability too. I'm bit, uh, yeah, no, I just, I can't believe how much time I've spent playing this game. It's insane. I mean, what is it about this game that just is, I just love it. I just love it so much. Okay, I can't see a thing. Okay, here's our bedroll. Okay. Alright, we gotta rest again. I can just find a spot. I got crap everywhere, so there's no place to put my bedroll. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Okay. I think we can sleep for a couple hours. It's gonna start getting cold in this cave. We're just—it's still early game, so we're gonna get cold in here. Um. But we'll save that when we start cooking. We'll, we can have a fire and then stay warm and cook. Blah, blah, blah. So right now, I guess this probably makes more sense just to... I mean, it makes sense to harvest the meat and sleep. So I can't do both at the same time, unfortunately. <laughs> so. But let's sleep for another hour. I don't know how much warmth bonus. I don't know. Like once I hit like, once I get like two bear coats, I pretty much don't worry about it anymore. But I don't know. I mean, I've also been running with the uh, insulated bedroll. I don't know. I would say like like twenty. Let's say like twenty four, twenty five. Once you get in there, then I don't really worry about getting cold in a cave anymore. Alright, let's start harvesting. And again, we're doing these in half kilo chunks, so we can get... A, uh, you know, we can double our... our, um, our increase in our cooking skill. Without micro-harvesting, of course. Now that way you could really just, you could get cooking five with this one moose if you micro harvest. But we don't do that. But I don't judge. People do want to do that, that's fine. I like to do this if I'm going to do a big cook, I like to harvest all the meat first before I start cooking. Because it gets a little just, you know, your head starts to spin after a bit because it's just too much to keep track of. Especially if you have like four fires going at the same time and it's just, <laughs> it's, it gets a little wild. I can't see anything. I see, I can see nothing. I see nothing. 
see nothing. We need to get our lantern. Where's the lantern? Oh, here we go. I think I was actually going outside. I was going the opposite direction than what I thought. Okay. But here's our bags of meat. Okay. Now let me put my bedroll right here nearby. Okay. Alright, here we go. Got it after five bears and a bunch of teas. You got, um, oh, cooking, cooking five, yeah. Yeah, I cook tons of teas as well. I think that's a big, that's a big part of my gameplay. Um, but if you do like one kilo chunks, it would, if you did half kilo chunks, it would take probably two and a half bears. Because that's usually what happens with me. I could drink almost anything about now. Got Parasite with third bear, which delayed things. Oh yeah, that will... That's a setback. That is a setback. I could eat anything right now. I mean, I'm going to just keep doing this as long as I stay warm. I'm just going to keep doing this. And we won't start cooking until I start getting cold. Oh, Miner's Folly. Oh, that is sort of... Yeah, that's just sort of out of the way, isn't it? You can't really... Once you're up there, you're kind of stuck. I guess if you got parasites. There's not a lot of food either. No, think about it. I mean, besides the bear, but if you're not, you know, if you're not cooking five, it's not really food. So, you rush to Timberwolf Mountain where I found a bunch of rushy teas that saved me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, did you didn't have? Uh, did you have medicine? Oh, you need you need a bunch of medicine. That's right. I I haven't treated parasites like my before. I'm not sure if I've ever gotten parasites. No, probably. I must have. I must have at some point. That might have been the stalker days when I got it. Yeah, twenty doses. That's yeah. That's hardcore. That's that's rough. That is rough. All right, now, looks like we have a fully harvested moose. Um, I'm going to, let me make sure my water situation is, okay, we need to make water for a bit. We need to make water. I got two liters of water, looks like. All right, well, let's start, <clears throat> let's start cooking. I'll make a little bit of water along the way. We could make multiple fires, maybe. I'm not sure if we want to do that, but we could. Yeah, food for days. And I got enough fuel now, I feel like I could do a lot. I can, I can probably cook most of this. If not all, I really want to try to get all of this cooked. Because it's really super important that I get cooking for so we can start to regenerate health. Come on. That did it. All right. Oh, positive Will. I love it when Will's like got that optimism in his voice. It's so reassuring. 
Alright, these are sm that's a small piece, I guess, isn't it? I might as well just cook with the skillet, even though it's... I just kind of like to slap it, slap the meat up there real, real fast. <laughs> but it is quicker, so... Alright, let's do something while we're waiting. Twelve minutes. Oh man. Do I have a can? Did I drop? <clears throat> Let's see. I got a can, I think. Here we go. I don't know if this makes sense or not. Alright, let's start cranking on this. Let's get this fire up there. Alright, get some sticks. I'll leave some of that. We don't need all that. Oh man, we got some... We got a good amount of fuel here. This is great. I think it makes sense to get two fires going. Maybe three even. I don't know. Let's go ahead and do that. Then we can just start... We can really just start cranking on this. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to sleep, too. All right. All right. I love the... the I love it when Will is happy. It makes me happy. Oh, this water screwing me up now. Uh, look. Okay, all right. Here we go. This is just... Is this so I can sleep mainly? I want to I want to be able to do this so I can sleep. All right. I know I'm wasting 15 minutes of fire. That's okay. We'll be fine. Okay. All right. That's 4 hours. Let's get some more time on this. Alright, now let's get some meat up there that's going to cook for an hour without burning. Let's see. Oh, these were... Okay, I thought that was a small piece there. Okay. This is why I don't play no go. It is so tedious. It's incremental. Everything is like, sleep for an hour. Do something for an hour. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put my bedroll out here so we'll get more out of our fire. big piece? I can't remember. Let's, let's just slap it on there and see. Okay. Ooh, good times. Good times. Cooking extravaganza. Alright, we got a bunch of sticks. Okay, so that's... We'll see. We'll see. B 
Keep going, Chabby. Keep on a cooking. Okay, we got an hour on both of those. All right, sleep for another hour. Okay, 30 minutes, oh boy, here we go. Never been so this takes so much life. fuel to do this, so much. Small piece that right there. Okay. All right. Let's get some time on this. Get a two-hour fire on that. Two hours on that. Don't step in the fire, Shabby. <laughs> not, not a good idea. <laughs> not a good idea. This is just good times. This is just good times in the long dark. Okay. Guess I'm gonna have to start dipping into my. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, go. I'm just glad you hung out for as long as you did. Uh, Kunal, Kunal, I think. Uh, check them out, folks. If you're listening to this on YouTube, Kunal popped in here. So check them out on on Twitch. Take care. Glad you stopped by. All right. Okay. Looks like we're... We are in the... Almost out of fuel zone now. I need to start thinking about leaving. By the way, my previous name was uh, Cool K. Oh, I remember you. Yeah, Cool K. Yeah, I remember that name. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's Cool K with a zero for the first O. Okay. Let's sleep for an hour. Gonna tr maybe I'll leave this afternoon. Um, so we'll probably probably go for another three more hours here before we try to get over to Trappers. Obviously not right now. Twenty-six minutes. Okay. Dwindling. We have a dwindling fuel supply here. If this wind, if this wind stops, I might try to get a fur log out there. That's pretty close, close by, so. Seventeen minutes on that. Okay. Let's see where we're at. This is curious. Cooking. Alright, we're about halfway through. It looks like we're not gonna hit four with this moose, but that's okay. 
as long as we're in striking distance of four, that's really what I'm shooting for. All right, let's sleep for another hour. I'm probably going to stop here, folks. Um, I'm hitting an hour on this, and... Uh, let's just finish the cooking stuff, and then we'll when we start next time, we'll just immediately be able to just to leave. So, we'll just keep cranking away. Actually, let's do a small... Let's do these small pieces here. Actually, that was a small piece. Whoops. Okay, just give me a sec. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop here in just a sec, but before we go, I need to really kind of assess the situation so we don't die, mainly, so we don't die. Um, that's kind of one of my goals with this run is to not die, so let's try to do that. Um, all right, 10 coal, and I'm going to be going to Milton next. So this coal has got to get us over to trappers and I think that's a that's basically it um, but you know really you just want to hang on to as much coal as you possibly can always a good plan we're gonna have to take some moose meat with us looks like our well we don't we have a bunch of crap on the ground too so I don't know I don't and we have to take this moose hide that's five kilos so, and the heavy hammer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. This is going to be wild. This is going to be a crawl. We're going to be crawling back. We're going to be crawling back. I think if the weather if if we get a window I might what I might do is just go out and get a fur log and then we'll spend the rest we'll spend the night here again and finish cooking everything and then we'll leave in the morning I think we'll just do that either way. It'll just be like, either we'll get the log, or we'll just have to go through our coal supply. That That's it. I think that's probably the best solution here. I need to repair the Mackinac as well. There's just always, there's just too much to do. It's, it's always early game stuff, but especially on the go, it's like, well, if you don't prioritize correctly, then, you know, you could die. <laughs> so this is what the stakes are a little bit, the stakes are a little bit raised. No pun intended, as I cook my moose steaks. All 
Alright, let's look at the weather. Still raging out there, so let's... I'm gonna sleep for an hour. Okay. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Alright, folks, I'm gonna stop here. This is a good place to stop. Um, I think what we'll do when, when I come back next session, I'm gonna throw a coal on here. We're gonna cook a steak. I'm gonna run out there and get a fur log. And then we'll come back and we'll spend the night here. And then uh, in the morning, we'll get all of this crap as much of this crap as we can carry and we'll take it to the trappers all right okay we're gonna stop here folks thanks uh raiders uh kunal um just because i don't have because this will go up on youtube someday and there won't be any you won't be able to see the chat so it's k-u-n-a-w-l check them out on twitter <laughs> twitch not twitter uh okay thanks uh for everyone else who stopped by uh you lurkers out there um, we'll, t we'll see you next time. Take it shabby.